I, I actually can't find him anywhere. I ended up trying to search for him in like the old servers that we were in together, and I just I just can't find my Shrine anywhere. He probably must have like um you know retired from the circus or something. But now we're playing against Donny Dizzle, another darkest opponent, and you know this looks to be a counter pick. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, my mental's a bit low now, because of- Oh, they get to go first, no! I it's such a slam for abomination! Oh my god, yeah, no. You know when I'm when I start making these voices, like, first, second, you already know the match is gonna be funny. But, yeah. Okay, this is, uh, this is gonna be a slam turn, like, for sure. I could've- I could've stunned first. Shep, what are you doing?! Okay, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, stop stressing out. Think, take time to think. My mental is in the gutter already. I need to take a breather. I did not take a breather after that match, by the way. I just went straight to the next one after, you know, trying to uh, trying to find my strength. Oh, the Vendetta. Interesting. That, that just gives me a free stun, doesn't it? Unless they have an... Mm, no, that is a free stun, actually. Yeah, I guess I go for it then. 81? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. If I... Okay, yeah, if I am lucky enough lucky enough to get the, the the stun on there as well. There is a bit of a chance that he did uh, resist it, but I'll take that. It's probably going to be a rejuvenating Vapors here, but it's just going to be a mark for death into a sniper shot. But, I mean, it's going to be difficult to kill the Abomination, but I will take him out eventually. What? What? Bro, can you imagine having... Just what? Okay, I think this is a Caltrip's turn. Oh, it would be it would be really greedy and bad. Yeah, I'll just do this. Let's just do this. Yeah. Uh, ah, the ninety. Yeah. Can you imagine having rejuvenating papers against WD and going invigorating? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's funny. That is quite funny. The move forward, no transform. Interesting. I guess I'll just shoot you then. And there's no regen here, so he has to go for the self fuel. But I mean. He's gonna go for the self fuel, but then I just shoot him again, and he might be able to get the guard back, but I'll just uh, stun the Mana Arms if it comes to that, hopefully, or maybe even go for a Caltrip's death blow if, you know, if he really, really comes down to that. We'll see. So he's gonna go for his turn, he's gonna go for the self heal, of course. It goes for the 65, gets it, by the way, gets it, gets the 65, that's fair. I mean, sure. If you wanna, if you wanna risk your life like that, I could go for a 55 death blow here. I could flare. Um, I flare. I'll flare. I'll flare. I think this is the move. Just get rid of that uh, that annoying little stun and just keep on rolling with my with my abilities. I might go for a guard here, but I'll just break it. Even if I don't break it, I'll go for the caltrips. Could you imagine if I had gotten the, the debuff? Would have had 45% death blow resistance now, you know? Even if I don't get the stun here, the caltrips would have very likely have been a death blow, but... Uh, the Butcher's Circus is definitely one of those games. I'm gonna go for it. Do I get it? I don't. I don't get to go first either. Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. Watch me not get the death blow. Just watch, just watch. That's all you need to do. You just need, yeah, there it is. Oh, it's gonna be this one. It's gonna be this one where I lose. You know, it's just a few things just not going too well for you. You don't get the 70, you don't get the 50. You don't get the the 30, the 65 either. I mean, you don't get the 35 on the stun resistance. You don't you don't get anything. Yeah, you don't get absolutely anything. You, you get screwed. That's what you get. I could de-transform move back here and just start biling. That's an idea. That's an idea. Or I could also just slam here and um, just be aggressive like that. But if I do that, he transforms and... Uh, no, that's probably not to move. Um, I guess I could just move back. I mean, but then they, they just do something else. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Don't... Do not fret. What are they going to do here? Are they going to pile? Yes, they are going to pile. Okay. Well, in that case, I am going to stun again. Or at least attempt another stun. There we go. There's a stun I needed. And now we should be able to take the Abomination out. Uh, albeit a bit too late, but uh, hopefully not late enough. Yeah, just 
Man, these rages are so disappointing. I mean, the 90 accuracy really sucks. It really sucks. You either get really lucky and you just crit for 30 because you're you're lucky. You're a very lucky man, or you just you know you just get the treatment you should actually get, and <laughs> you get completely rolled over by the by the accuracy, and you just miss all the 80s and all the all the 90s and all that. It's funny because I've lost like so many matches on the rage yeah. accuracy, and I still bring the net just to try and mitigate it, but it's not enough. It's not enough sometimes. Should I bring Eagle Eye as well? But the thing is, the, the moment you start putting Eagle Eye onto here, then you're gonna either be lacking the move chance or you're gonna be lacking the stun chance, and you're gonna lose even more matches. It's kinda like the same thing as you know, just I mean, you really you're really gonna go for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just go for the finish from here. I don't think they have even a chance of dodging. No, they don't. Yeah, it's just like the same thing as bringing like double move chance on the bounty hunter because you're just so pissed that you don't get the pulls. And then you don't get the death blows after. Like, there's never a perfect outcome. You're never gonna get the exact setup you want. You're you're always gonna be a little bit off in terms of uh, in terms of what you what you want to get. So thankfully they only transformed once. Wait, they, did they even transform? No, they didn't. Wow, that's massive. And they didn't even have Wretch's Cloak to transform, so yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, they didn't. They moved from position 4 to position 3 without even transforming. Really odd decision. They go for yet another guard, still knowing that I have the stunning blow here. They just don't care. They just keep guarding with this man at arms. I'm gonna keep going for the stun, then. There we go. That's one of my four turns, getting rid of one of your three, actually two of your three turns. <laughs> It's massive, it's absolutely massive. Is he gonna go for the PBS? Is it a crit? No, it isn't. Well, I guess I'll I'll stay alive then, if you if you don't mind. Let me click the abomination, please. Let me click the abomination, please. Let me click the abomination, please. It doesn't like me. I'll just go for the sniper shot here. Oh, massive hit, actually. Surprising that I do land it. And now, unless they go for a take cover, I'm just going to go boop into boop. It's the ability number two, the manacles. They're going to go rejuvenation. They want to stack it up again. I'm not sure that's the move, but you know, it is what they go for. I should be able to win this one. Emphasis on should. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. They are marked, they are still down to 40 dodge, and we're just gonna go for the manacles here. And the twiffs. 76 accuracy, by the way. Yeah, this abomination has been such a disappointment, like such a massive disappointment. Now, yeah, there, there it is. Oh, abomination, you are such a disappointment to me. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You know you are. But it's okay, abom. You, you can't always be you can't always be the golden boy like the crusader is okay we're gonna go for the stun here on the higher man yeah he hits the 71 <laughs> there we go and i think now this is just going to be a mark into shoot into manacle stern on the higher man just get him out of the match and then this man arms pretty much can't do anything because it doesn't have bellows and while the anti is a strong character i mean she's not gonna 1v4 from this point in time, so this should be pretty much just a GG. I think my opponent's team here is that it was kind of a counter pick, but it wasn't played correctly. The the higher man just really didn't do enough. Like this is a damage higher man on a team that should be winning through stress, not not just pure damage. So you know it was a bit difficult. I might just wait for the extra 12 accuracy here actually. I think that is probably the move. Let's just wait for the extra 12 accuracy until then. I'm just gonna drop a bile. Screw it. Let's just drop a bile, get a little bit of a repulse going, why not? And then I'm going to shoot with my extra accuracy. I think this is the wisest move. And yeah, we do hit. And is he dropping down to zero? No, he's not. Uh, the bile didn't hit hard enough. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, but he, it's fine. He's still he's still not enjoying himself too much. Yeah, that's that's what matters here. Is he gonna go for another guard? No, finally goes for something else, which is, you know, two damage and making himself useless. <laughs> so still just as useless of a, of a move as it was before, but I'm gonna drop another pile here. Of course there's a dodge. Not, but 72 hit chance. Yeah, you really, you really can't play WD for this long or else it really starts hurting you. It really starts hurting you. You start looking at all those chances and man, it's annoying. Man, that is so annoying. Okay, they go for the 14. Thankfully, it doesn't hurt me for hard enough, but I'm gonna go for this. Get a repulse for 13. I'm fine though, and now I should be able to get the death blow, and then it's gonna be a 2v4, which I should be able to win here. Emphasis on should. Do they go aggressive or do they drop it invigorating vapors now? I wonder. I wonder what they're going to do here. They only have 19 dodge, so I would go aggressive if I were them. 
for sure. I would definitely go aggressive here. You need to... <laughs> you need to be putting my characters down to zero now. That, you know, I guess, I guess just don't do it and just pray that you get the 6%. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> the six percent, and let's keep going for sniper shots. And yeah, and Santa Grange is getting absolutely bullied. This this should be in the ninth win, but it, you know it's never a guarantee against these teams. So what can you do, right? What can you do but keep playing? So the antiquarian, uh, if they do go for a guard now after the retribution, I will have to probably just um, probably just do the thing where I hit into the repulse, and it's really annoying. But that uh, should be fine, right? Should be fine. I could also just go for the pull into the slam if they try guarding. Once again, making their guard useless. <laughs> There's just so many ways I can make it useless. There's another way I can make it useless, just ignoring it, right? I can also make it useless by just ignoring it. I could also just go for the beast pile. There's so many things I can do here. I think that the best move is actually just to pile. And uh, yeah, of course it hurts for zero. It's just why wouldn't it, right? Even with brass knuckles, me not having a death store recovery debuff. Them only having 30 prot, and of course the beast pile is gonna is gonna land for zero with my very nice base damage. Now ah, you know what can I do, right? What can you do? I'm just going to heal here, and I'm gonna pray that the sniper shot gets a death blow. I think it's a 35, so it's not too likely. I also didn't apply the blight, but okay, I guess she does have good blight resistance. Yeah, did I apply it on? Yeah, she has really good blight resistance, so it makes sense. I don't get it, but I do get a crit. Watch her go vigorous. <laughs> oh, she goes stalwart instead. Okay, sure. I guess I guess my opponent will take it then. Yeah, I I suppose if I if I were to slip up for like one turn and let one of my characters die, I just lose here. You you, you are aware of that, right, here, Hanon? I cannot slip up. I cannot slip up for even a, a second. So they're gonna go for that. Yeah, you just take cover while guarded. Yeah, that's fun. That is fun. I guess I could stun here and just stun bile heal. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's do it. We go for the stun. Now we just bile into... I don't even have to heal, so it's fine. And uh, I should be okay here. Actually, no, no, I don't even have to do that. I can just flare. <laughs> Miss the flare. Yeah, that would have been funny, wouldn't it? The funny value for missing the flare. Watch me not do 4 damage. Yeah, I do 3 to 7 now because of the... Oh, because of the 15 fraud from the stalwart. <laughs> Ah, the Butcher Circus! I love it so much. It is such a game. Oh man, this game it sucks. It is, it is controlling me. It is controlling me. I'm just gonna go for a mark here on the man at arms. Screw it. Can you imagine not doing, not doing yeah, four damage there? It's, it's just too much. It's too much. This, this can't go on. This can't go on. I can't keep playing. I'm dying over here. I am. You're gonna go for the retribution. Wow, that's a big crit. A shame that it's pretty much completely useless, I think. I think. Emphasis on I think. I'm just going to heal with, uh, with the bounty hunter. I mean, thing is, I should be able to manacles and finish him, but I am expecting... I am expecting my abomination to just miss or something, so I'm going to keep my arbalist turn just in case. Just in case something really stupid happens, like this whipping, but no, thankfully it doesn't. Um, I am going to go for the finish him now with the death blow, so come on. It's a 86 and an 87, so there we go. No more antiquarian, and now he's marked. He only has 40 prompt. I have a crit buff. Oh yeah, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> and now it's just to finish him. He doesn't have enough regen, and it's all over for my opponent. So they survived for... 10 rounds, no, it's survived for 9 rounds, and they're gonna go down on round number 10 with this uh, very annoying, but honestly not too useful team. It's just kind of all over the place, it doesn't really have a well-defined win condition, that's really not, not what you should be doing with your teams. Well, it should typically counter WD with the whole setup that it had, with like the dodge and the regen and all that, so I just end up not doing it because it wasn't doing anything to me. I, I mean, I guess it was doing a little bit of collateral damage, but that's really not enough. Anyway, let's go for a match number 10. Alright, here we go, straight into a match number 10, and it looks like we're playing against Jester today, so this is uh, a Jester we're playing against, I guess, and they went for a mark on my abomination, so how do I want to deal with that? They have a big collect bounty, I guess I'll just stop it. Let's go for a slam on the bounty hunter and make him useless all the way in the back, I think that is the move. So let's just get rid of him real quick, 
and let's keep on gaming. This opponent has a very interesting team, that's for sure. Leper with two proc trinkets, that's not gonna help you against the stuns. <laughs> the Vestal does have the Silver Saran, so I, sh I should get rid of her real quick. Yeah, she's actually the only healing character that my opponent has, so getting rid of her would be absolutely massive for me here, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that. Thank you for the crit shop, wow. Wow, 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 that is, um... That is unfortunate, but I guess I can live with it. I suppose in that case I'll probably just... Do they have the bonk? No, they don't. They don't have the bonk. I guess I'm just going to disrupt them here. I mean, this isn't what you'd usually go for, because usually teams aren't this disruptable, but <laughs> I'm just gonna do it here, because seeing a vessel that can't do anything in position 1, a bounty hunter that can't do much in position 4, the leper just slowly getting put in a worse position, I mean, I kinda just have to do it, man. So let's go ahead and do it. They go for the come hit on me, does it work? Yes, it does, it does work. But now I'll just go ahead and drop a Holy Lance on the Bounty Hunter, and that also works. <laughs> that also works, what goes around comes around. And now if they move back with the Vestal, they move back into a Sniper Shot, which yeah, it isn't really what you want to do, is it now? Well, I guess they move back, they want to feel it, and there you go, <laughs> if, you, if you want to put yourself in position, go right ahead. And, I mean, both St. Gamason, usually not that bad of a trinket, but, I mean, in this situation, even though you have 45 HP, it does absolutely nothing, because I went for the come hither into the sniper shot, and, you know, it's it's enough to bring her down. So, she's gonna go for the Divine Comfort now, but, um, I should be okay here with the amount of things I can do. Thing number one, Bola. We go for the Bola, make it so she goes back, make it so I go back, and just keep my Abomination self heal and all that available. So this isn't really being the easiest match to kill my opponent, because, I mean, Divine Comfort is annoying, but uh, we're still we're still doing okay here. They go for the Hansei, which is dropping me down to zero, but that's fine, because now I get to just go for the finish him. No more Vestal, no more shenanigans, and I get the crit. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That helps my opponent out a little bit. That definitely helps my opponent out a little bit, but I'm hoping that we're still able to just um to just punch through it. At least at least that's what I hope so. I mean I still have two healers here, I still have the Arbalist and the Bounty Hunter. Also, look at this. Crit, crit, crit. This crit was bad. Also, this was two crits actually. <laughs> nice! Two crits, huh? That is uh that is something else. I Still, I'm still fine here, I guess. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the stun on the leper and just uh, probably just self heal after that. Yeah, I suppose that is that is what I'm going to do here. The collect bounty, yeah, completely useless collect bounty. I think I might skip this along to the end. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and skip this along to the end because I'm just going to self heal here. I mean, I could just be aggressive as well, but uh, there's no point. We just self heal. Ah, but they have no healers. Oh, no, but I don't do enough damage. Okay, just screw it. Let's go for the self heal here and just enjoy myself. Do they still have the mark? Yeah, it lasts for ages. It lasts forever. It lasts forever. So I uh, I think I'm going to keep playing. It's just because it's a leper and he's a really strong character at the end. So let's just keep on gaming because of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go for it. And I guess I'm just going to, to heal here. Probably. Um. I could also just be aggressive and shoot them. Hmm. Who should I heal with as well? That's also an idea, because he does have Hound's Rush. Do I really care, though? Uh, there we go. That's what I needed. That is exactly what I needed, because now the, st uh, the doggy gets stunned, I can kill the Bounty Hunter, and then I can self-heal with the Abomination, and then they definitely can't win. I mean, it's pretty much a 2v4, and I, yeah, I, I'm fine. So let's skip along to the end. Alright, and here we go at the very end, and he is a goner, so that is gonna be 10 wins for the Shepherd Doggy, and let's go straight into a match number 11. Well, that's unfortunate. I was going to play against Ice Waylo Comb, but, um, and this person had uh, Kalashnikov stress as well, so this was gonna be a really fun match, but uh, unfortunately, I don't know, the connection didn't work, so let's go for another one. Well, 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 it would appear that the buffoon is flummoxed. As we go into a match number two against Jester, so, you know, it is unfortunate I wanted to play against Kalashnikov stress. I, I was actually really hyped for that match. 
Because uh, it would have probably put an end to me. <laughs> it would have probably put an end to me. I feel like one of those slayers from uh, uh, from Warhammer Fantasy, where they're always like they're like great warriors and they're always seeking death and they're seeking like a a battle that will finally end them. But they just can't do it <laughs> because they're such great warriors. They get into battle and they always win. <laughs> oh, that's what it feels like playing WD right now. But um, you know, maybe. Maybe it won't stay like that forever. Hopefully it does, though. I, I actually don't want to lose that bad, come, come to think of it. I would like to get to 20. Oh my god, it's gonna take so long, though. Oh my god, okay. I better start playing quickly. I better start playing quickly. I remember that the last time I went for a win streak, it was with the Halo comp. There's still a video of it. I think I ended up only showing, like, the best 7 matches out of, like, the 20 or so I did. And I remember it took so many hours to do it because with the Halo comp you can kind of like play around a little bit, go for the harvest in some matchups. You don't have to go like as diehard uh, right from the start as you do with uh, with like WD. I mean, you can kind of do oh, nineteen ah the mineral. You can kind of do that too with WD sometimes if you're able to just get caltrops off and then just start stunning. That that does happen too, but majority of the time that's just not going to be the case. Oh, that could be rough, actually. Um, yeah, it's the daze as well. The daze is actually really quite annoying. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't get to go first. I, I could just pass here, but I'm going to go for the transform rage. What I'm going to do here actually is going to be really smart. Actually, does Rick do enough? Probably not. Uh, yeah, this is, this is wiser. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to detransform and then stun with the abomination as soon as I can. So this daze doesn't actually impact me quite as much because then I'll have two dazed characters. So I, I won't be, uh, I won't be as forced to to use them as, as I would be otherwise, if that makes sense. So yeah, Jester is uh, playing with a different team this time. No leper, but <laughs> once again, very odd, <laughs> very odd setup here. I mean, I mean, it makes sense, right? The stuff makes sense. You're like finisher bounty hunter, Hireman going for the damage and the dodge. Abomination just being a tanky boy and doing the abomination things. And the Flake Doctor was kind of like this backline artillery that also had the brass knuckles for the disorienting and all that. But at the end of the day, it's just, it's just really odd because the team doesn't work well together. You can't bring... Like, this artillery and these two guys trying to mark, and this guy just being a tank, like, it, it doesn't work like that. I'm gonna go for the caltrips here, but sadly I don't get to 50, uh, but I'll, I'll be able to maybe go for a death blow with the manacles. Maybe I should have gone for manacles first, and then a caltrips, but I just want to get to 50-50. And then go for a stun on the abomination instead. But uh, I guess such is not the way of the butcher circus. Yeah, such is not the way of the butcher circus. I guess in that case, uh, you can't even pistol shot position one. I mean, can you imagine having an ability so garbage that you don't want to use it even if you can use it? <laughs> it's not even like Hound's Rush that you can use it against position one, so it has like that novelty. No, it's still just as bad. You can't even use it uh, against that. So it's just, why? Why did you bring it? I, I don't know. I don't get it. It's so terrible. This ability is. Is it the worst ability in the Butcher Circus? Uh, maybe not the worst, actually. Maybe not the worst. There's some really bad ones. There's some really bad ones. But th this is one of them for sure. This is definitely one of them. I actually. Yeah, Flashbang. Nah. Yeah, Flashbang's really bad, though. Flashbang really sucks. But I guess it's a shuffle, so it has the potential value, you know? And it's got good accuracy as well. It's also a debuff, so nah, I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, Flashbang really sucks. I'm thinking, like, Crush. Crush is horrible. You can only use it from positions 1 and 2. It only removes 10 prot. It has 90 accuracy. It does freaking no damage. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks for sure. It's one of the bad ones. But um, I'm going to Holy Lance here into a heal on the Abomination. Keep in mind that, you know, even against um, even against players that don't have all the trinkets and don't have all the best strategies, you still can't slip up. All it takes is like a little mistake, and your WD is still gonna lose as well as other teams would in this in this situation. So, and do not slip up. Do not start just. Uh, Yabbering on about something completely unrelated, <laughs> like I do, <laughs> instead of actually focusing on the match. I'm doing that as I'm playing with like my little. It's not a pen cap. It's just that this new microphone has a little cap for the. What do you call it? The the, 
it's not a tube, champ. It's... Oh, wait. They, they went for the pistol shots. I didn't even feel it. I don't know who they went pistol shots on. And ironically, I have no idea. But I'm just going to stun the abomination here. Yeah, it has a little cap at the end where you put, like, the... The cable. Yeah, you put the cable into the laptop. And to protect that little thing so it doesn't get, like, dust on it or something, it has a little cap for it. And I'm just playing around with it. Which, in hindsight, isn't that great of an idea because I'm probably dirtying it and making it less useful by playing around with it. But, I mean... I am doing a win streak WD and I'm having to play through these matches, so. Uh, and the video is already <laughs> one hour and 30 minutes long! So I have to I have to keep on rolling. I have to keep on rolling some way. I'm just going to I'm just going to skip this ahead, I think. Yeah, I just a sniper shot into Paul here, into he probably dies, into I self-heal, into I still have a crusader, and an arbol is just gonna be GG once more, so let's skip ahead to the end. Also, I just realized how freaking tanky this abomination was. He had 50 HP and 10 brought. That is a lot of HP. Just look at that. He is a tanky fella. Look at that. Yeah, he's tankier than the Crusader with these two trinkets. I guess you should, like, um, probably run, what do you call it, Clash of the Beast instead of the Gladiator Helmet, and it would be even better because it would give you... Probably the same amount of max HP would also give you on melee hit stress for your rakes and your rages and your slams to do a little bit of stress along with them. It's not, not a great buff, I mean, it's definitely there and you'd feel it a bit, so... Um, yeah, it's just going to be good old, uh, good old slam here for the guaranteed hit chance. Killing the abomination swiftly with the finish him. Of course, there's a chance that... Uh, the Bloodstained Gamason does the Bloodstained Gamason thing, but then it's just going to be, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a very quick W here, I imagine. I'm going to go for this. Yeah, the Bloodstained Gamason doesn't do the Bloodstained Gamason thing, and now I'm thinking of being a tiny, tiny touch greedy here, going for a heal and a stun. Uh, the reason it's not a great idea is because after that happens, they can actually, they can actually kill me. Because, I mean, yeah, they're, no, no, they don't have to return anymore, they can't even kill me. Oh, it's so unfortunate to be my opponent here, yeah. They can't even kill me, they don't have to return anymore. I'm starting to count turns poorly as well, by the way. That's that's a clear sign that I should take a break. <laughs> I don't want to take a break, I want to keep gaming. Ah! Okay, that's that's annoying. Um, I guess we just... Oh, no, I could have done the same thing again! Ah, yes, fine, let's just heal. It's fine, Chef, it's fine. We're gonna do what I should have done from the start. We're gonna pull the corpse and we're going to shoot him with my actual damage dealing character. So let's pull the Abomination Corpse and then we're gonna shoot at the Arbos. These guys have been through so much today and they're still gonna be through so much more. <laughs> yes, they are. They're still gonna be through so much more. I mean, I mean, I guess since I'm here, I might as well play it out to the end. Iron Man goes, Selfish, plus Dodge. Hopefully it doesn't make a difference. I mean, I have Finisher, so I, I doubt it. I doubt it makes a difference, but you never know. You never know, right? Hmm. There goes the Iron Man. What is he gonna do with his final turn? Why did I shout? This cat is counting his lives. Goes for a duelist advance act out. Still has a fair bit of damage, actually, despite this door and the selfish and all that. Yeah, it doesn't even have a... That's uh, crazy. That must have been a high roll. But yeah, there he goes. And let's go straight into a match number 12, because that was the 11th win. Aha! Aha! There we go! Yet again against this veteran opponent. Come on, please load in this time, please. Okay, that is a bit unfortunate. They're not playing Kalashnikov anymore, so it is unfortunate for them. They're not playing Kalashnikov. They're playing a mix of Kalashnikov and Chef Stress. They're playing without the Abomination, and they're playing with an Occultist and the Houndmaster backline. This would be... Now well, it still has a lot of stress output, but it doesn't have an Abomination, which is definitely un unfortunate here for my opponent. Okay. Okay, a few things to consider. Thing number one, the Occultist has to die. That's thing number one that has to be considered. Occultist cannot survive this. 83. Thing is, if you whiff that 83, you lose the match. On the spot. On the spot. You don't even ask it twice. I mean, against the flagellant, maybe I don't. Because I can kind of just, you know, kind of just ignore the Rain of Stars for a bit, because it's not as strong as, like, Hounds and all that. I mean, I mean, at least for a bit, right? At least for a bit. But if you just whiff that 83 against the stress team, majority of the time you're just going to lose the match. So, is this, is this still something you have to go for? Because if you don't focus the, the Occultist down while he has Stage and Embrace, you're not going to win. <laughs> you're just not going to win. So, no point in even trying to do something of the likes. So, now I have a few decisions here. I'm going to end up going for the Holy Lance on the Dog and then get a nice connection. Don't go for the Holy Lance on the Occultist. There's no need. He's already marked. He's already probably going to get one shot if he even gets hit. And the 
chance to actually hit the occultist area is just terrible, absolutely horrible. So, no point even going for it, let's just do something else entirely, and just go for the doggy instead. Now, speaking of going for the doggy, I could really go for something else entirely, and just go for the slam here on the flagel, make sure he doesn't do anything bad towards me, and then just shoot the doggy, and I think that's what I'm going to do here. So let's go for the slam, with the net we still have a very good push chance, also my opponent has Crimson Hook on the left slot, so the the, trink, the content of, abs of, of Absolution is in the right slot. It's in the right slot, but not in the correct slot. It's in the right one, which is the wrong one. But yeah, that's... Is that a tattoo? I don't know. It's, it's, just, it's a bad one. It's a bad one. It's one I don't like to see. Don't put the Gauntlet of Absolution in the, in the wrong slots. Put it in the left one. Always. Always. Regardless of what you bring with the flash one. Always put it in the left one. My opponent is smart. They're smarty pants, but are they as smart as they think? Uh, I don't have a confirmed death blow. Uh, this opens up Redeem. <laughs> Ooh, that's not that's not great, Shep. That's not great. There's heal. Ah, oh, he's safe. He's safe. Maybe knock back. Maybe knock back. Yes, knock back. Not really the knock back I wanted. But I'll take it. I'll take it, I guess. I almost forgot that I would break through the guard there. Oh, oh, how many crits was that? Just one, but it did extra stress on everyone. Oh, man, that's massive. Okay, if I whiff this, it's GG. Not a whiff, not a whiff. We live, we live, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. Okay, yeah, we really, really, really need to get rid of the Occultist. Like, if the Occultist uh, survives here to use Stygian Embrace on someone, like, if I had gone for the Doggy there, he would have licked wounds, and then I would have shot him again, and then Stygian Embrace, GG. There is nothing I can do about it. He's just going to heal. I have to flare, hit him again. He's doing Hound Series. He's regenning the next round. His Hound Series are doing like 30 stress. It is beyond over. Just beyond completely over. So don't even think about it. They're going to go for their final turn. The occult is going to be the Demon's Pull. Do they get it? Is the question. They do get to pull. Yes, they do. They do get to pull, unfortunately for me. And there's a few things I can do here. Thing number one, probably slam. It's a 25. Uh, do I get to go first? Yes, I do. So, worst case scenario, I might still be able to survive here. But let's do this. Watch, watch, and learn what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go Holy Lance on the doggy. And then I'll have a double Caltrip's Death Blow, right? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Pro probably not going to happen, but uh, you can hope. You can hope. Uh, the only problem I have with Caltrips here is that if I use it before the flash one time... I'm going to be in a really rough spot, because then he's going to get a redeem off, and then he lives. And then the occultist lives, and that's going to be really bad. So I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. I might have to consider something else. And uh, not going for the caltrips here, as, as bad as it is. Uh, oh, man. Of course, I don't do enough damage. I mean, it probably doesn't matter all that much. It depends on what they do here. It depends on what they do. Are they going to go for the flash one turn? They are. Okay, interesting. Oh, then I'm free to caltrips. I am free to caltrips. The doggy's also going to go down to zero now because of the caltrips. So, yeah, definitely the play I'm going for. The only problem with it is that it activates the healing on the flash one, which I really don't want. Hmm. I still go for it, though. I still go for it. Whoa, I don't get the death blow. You're kidding me. The 65 and I don't get it. No, that's that's a disaster, actually. That's an absolute disaster. Oh, that is not what should have happened there. Okay, that is not what should have happened there. Yeah, that is an absolute disaster. I have to keep my bounty hunter turn here. That's unfortunate. Okay, we go for the 80, though. We do take it, of course. I mean, if we didn't take the 80 there, I just <laughs> it would be beyond over. But, you know, it's just the, the way it is against these teams, right? I mean, would it be beyond over? They would, yeah, they would redeem, no, beyond over, just completely GG if I don't get the 80 there, yeah, just completely GG. They're gonna heal, I've taken a crazy amount of stress, they're all perfectly fine, it's just, you can't let something like that happen, it's... It's going to make it so your, your match doesn't last all that long. I might split this video up into two, but if I split it up into two, people would know that I don't win, but... If I do that, I mean, already knowing that the video is two hours, you already know that I'm going to win up until two hours, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I guess, I guess that makes sense as well, Shep. Uh, so what can you do? Yeah, it's odd, isn't it? It's odd. Do I go first? No, I don't. 
unfortunate. But watch, watch and learn the power of the slam. Do I get the slam? Yes, I do. That's massive. That's massive. Why? Because now he has to redeem, but he doesn't want to redeem. He doesn't want to redeem because he's going to be stuck in position three where he doesn't really want to be. I rhymed. That's awesome. And what can I do here? Also, I'm moving around a fair bit. I shouldn't do that. This microphone is... You have to, you have to speak directly into it. Let's, uh, let's knuckle down a bit here. And... Oh, they're just going to do that then. Hmm. Okay. Do you think they would risk the 20? You think so? I don't think so. I don't think they'd risk a 20. But they could. They definitely could. I'm gonna go for the stun on the on the men at arms though. Okay, that's the crit, that's very good. I don't get the stun even with the crit? I failed the 90? Seriously? Are they gonna risk it? Oh, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. No, no, they redeem. <laughs> they thought about it. They really did. Make me go abusive. Do it now. Make me go abusive. Okay, anything but fearful or paranoid, please. Anything but fearful or paranoid. Okay, also not selfish. Selfish also sucks. It's fine, I had to move back anyway. It's fine, it's fine. I know selfish sucks, but you'll be fine, Shep. Don't worry about it. Yeah, everything's okay. I love selfish. I love selfish. It's such a nice affliction to get. You know, there could have been sniper shot into sniper shot and he dies. But that was kind of the plan. But, you know, I guess my opponent did drop a lot of stress on my arbalist, and that's exactly what he wanted to do. I might have to flare here. That is adding up. That stress is adding up. I might also pull the doggy and just try to get him. Just ignore the flash one from now on. Man, the stress is stacking up so high. It's really bad. It's really bad how high it's stacked up. Oh, and the DOT. The DOT is also stacked up a fair bit. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this doggy. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. We're gonna pull him. And uh, we're gonna try shooting him. Maybe even go for the for the heal first, something of the likes, and then just try stunning him, getting the kill with the stun or something. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. But yeah, they're just going to uh, to Harry and go crazy. I'm probably probably just going to heal here, get rid of the three bell debuffs, and then shoot. I swear to God, if selfish passes, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm going to be so pissed. You're not gonna want to be near me. Yeah, that is that is what's going to happen. Because if that happens, there's a very good chance I. <laughs> I said I said this like five times, but there's a very good chance I lose the match on the spot. There's also a very good chance I win the match on the spot if I get courageous. You know, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting on that courageous. I cannot wait for it. Yeah, I absolutely cannot wait for it. It's gonna be really funny when I get it. Yeah, when I totally get it, right? Totally. Okay, it's time to flare. I mean, it's time to heal and get rid of the the debuffs. And after this, we're going to shoot, and then we're going to go for the manacles. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I know I'm selfish, so I have minus 5 accuracy, but I have to take the risk to get the potential death blow here. It is it is as it should be. So I'm going to go for it. I still have a, a damage buff versus marked. Selfish doesn't do anything stupid. 20-35. Nice, nice crit. And now we go for the stun here. Um, move me back so I can bile. Do it. Go hopeless. Selfish. Does selfish move back? I mean, selfish moves forward, that's for sure. Does it move back? Ah, no, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. We don't know. I'm gonna go for the stun. Do I get the 80? No! <laughs> I failed the 90 on the man at arms and the 80 on the handmaster. Yeah, I know. I, I know you got the stun resistance. He knows it as well. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. That is, that is beyond annoying. That's just infuriating, actually. Oh, you know what sucks here, too? Yeah, this sucks even more. It's the fact that he's in positions 3 and 4 with these two characters, so... He's not even marked anymore. Oh, it's so annoying, I can't even... Oh. Oh, you have to go for a come hither. Oh, but that sucks, and then there's... Oh, I'm going to lose this one. This is it. This is it. This is the one I lose. I really need a virtue. I really need a virtue, actually, and ironically really need a virtue. Okay. I have to go for a pull here. I have to go for a pull. Can you believe it? One. Bro, why am I getting so unlucky? It's like the ringmaster is doing everything. Everything to make me lose. My goodness. Yeah, literally everything to make me lose. And I'm still fighting back. I'm fighting back. I'm fighting back against the odds. Uh, is he gonna go for the guard? 
Oh, it's annoying because days, right? Oh, I hate days so much. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I despise it. I despise it so much. I could flare. Regardless of what I do, it's it's still bad. Yeah, regardless of what I do, it's all bad. Please get this done this time. Okay, there's one stun. Okay, that helps me out a little bit. Am I dead to a rain of stars? You're probably not, unless it's a crit. If it's a crit, I might just die. But let's hope it's not a crit. Oh, I don't think you go punish here. You definitely go rain of stars. Yeah, okay, no crit. I should be alive. Don't. Okay, good. Ooh. Good. Stay alive. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, staying alive, staying alive. So it's what they're doing. They're trying desperately. You idiot. Did he get the stun at least? Okay, he did. That's actually really good. Okay, that's really good. I don't want to do damage to the flash room because it's going to activate his healing. So. <laughs> but he, he went for the stun. Okay, good job, a -bomb. Good job. You did something that worked. Okay, but don't hit the flash room anymore. Do not hit him anymore. Okay, he's going to go for his final turn. Please don't get the kill to Harry. Come on. The dodge, the massive, the massive dodge. Oh, the heart attack though. Um, I just click and I heal myself, right? Yeah, fearful good move back. No, there's no virtue. Oh, no virtue. Yeah, I didn't get the virtue. Yeah, I got paranoid. This is gonna hit the other characters. Yeah, yeah, we all know just how fun it is. Okay, let's heal myself here. That's heart attack recovery, but it's probably not going to make a difference. Um, yeah, we go for the finish him here. Actually, I might have a... Okay, as long as these characters don't screw me over terribly... Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good, okay. As long as these characters don't screw me over terribly, I might actually have a kill here, believe it or not. I might have a kill here on the flash ones. Uh, what did I get? Selfish? Ooh, selfish 2 debuffs. Nah, it's not gonna work. But I could just, like... Yeah, I could do a few things here, that's for sure. When did, I... when did he die? I can't recall. It was like round three, right? It was around four. Uh, probably round three. Yeah, I think round three. Um, my Crusade wants to do something. Let's go for the stun. Do I get the 35? Am I lucky enough to get the 35? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, unfortunate. But I will go for the push here. So let's hope that I get it. It's, a, it's an 80, so it's quite likely that I do get it. And oh, it's a 100 actually with the crit. Wonderful. And he is not stunned, but he's just going to have to go for the redeem here. He's fine though, he's fine going for the redeem. He, he doesn't he doesn't care too much about it. My opponent is uh, just going to redeem here and just stay safe and all that. He can't even guard because, because the guard broken. Yeah, they can't do anything of the likes. Hmm, it's close. It's just that Kalashnikov would have been having a better time here. But the problem with Kalashnikov is that if you want to flash on, it just sucks. So... That's why they're playing with they're playing with this. So I will say, like having this instead of abomination. Uh I think abomination would have done a bit better. Honestly. Like with the amount of unlucky I got, abomination probably would have won this. Yeah, with the amount of uh, unlucky moments that I had, abomination probably would have got uh, probably would have gotten this in this one in the bag. I think that the move now might actually unironically be to mark shoot and Okay. That's fair. That's fair. He hadn't passed yet. That's fair. You know, I won't complain too much. He hadn't passed yet. I got the kill on the doggy, so I, I can't complain all that much. It makes my life miserable, but I can't complain all that much. Okay, there's the heart attack. I have a few decisions to make right now. Do I want to heal, or do I want to heal and stun? I have to kill the flagellant. That's the thing, I have to kill the flagellant, I have to shoot him. But I have to stop the bellows. As well. But I think killing the flagellant right now is more important. So let's just uh, try to get rid of him some way. Because if I kill the flagellant and I still have these two healing characters, it's going to be really difficult for me to lose. So I'm, I'm just uh, hoping on that. I'm going to drop here a fair bit. Selfish move back, come on. Okay, Abomination once again goes for a good move, actually. Really good move, actually. I I didn't think I would I don't think I would have done that personally. 
That was actually the best move. Man, this abomination is carrying me. He is carrying me right now. Remember when he was such a disappointment? Yeah, those days are gone. He is uh, he's being a very good boy now. He's in position to exsanguinate. Yeah, it was round three. It was round three that he died. But look, you can't do anything about it. I'm just... I'm just going to go for the finish him. With my... 195 stress, fearful bounty hunter. Doesn't do anything. And the death blow. No! Okay. Okay. Ooh, the heart attacks. Oh, no extra stress, please. No extra stress. No extra stress. No extra stress. Okay. Chill. Chill now. What? Why did you surrender? You could have won. You could have won. You could have won. I had paranoid. Why did these people surrender when they shouldn't? Oh, there's like, I swear, the newer players never surrender when they definitely should surrender because the match is beyond over. The older players, like the veterans and the people that have been playing for longer, just surrender pre prematurely. Like, why? Just play the match out sometimes. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it, man. But that is 12 wins for me and I'm gonna keep on going. And would you look at that, now we're playing against Stomachfoot. I've been playing against this person a fair bit, they just like hanging around the ladder it seems. And they're playing position 2 Plague Doctor. I think I beat this person with position 2 Plague Doctor, didn't I? Maybe maybe the, the table's turned here and now they beat me with this <laughs> position 2 PD. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. No gauntlet there, but the snuff is helpful. So no gauntlet here might actually be the move for my opponent. Okay, so it looks like there's no Materia Passes, that's really good for me. I should probably stun this Plague Doctor. Yeah, that is probably the move here, stunning the Plague Doctor. There's Battle Ballot, so yeah, it's going to hurt. They're going to hurt my Bounty Hunter really bad here, but hopefully I can survive through it for long enough that um, I'm able to get at least like a kill or two. Yeah, but they are going to hurt me really bad now with Reign of Sorrows, with... Uh, Crossed Hamilton and all that. I'm hoping that I get some bleed resistances here. This team is very bleed resistant, apart from the A bomb, but yeah, I'm hoping for one or two bleed reses. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Wow, I get two bleed resistances. Nice. That is literally exactly what I wanted to see. Wonderful. Well, I suppose in that case, the play here might just be Mark for Death into. Ah, mark for Death into Sniper Shot into maybe even a Rake, perhaps? The turning point, <laughs> perhaps the turning point, yeah. Do they regen? They do, they do regen. Yeah, just just so you know, I don't get the immediate kill. That does make sense. I guess in that case, like... 40 dodge Jester. It pains me. But I go for it anyway. It's just that it should work, because you have so much accuracy with the net and the, and the Tiger Finger here that you should get it and get the stun as well. But you, you never know, you never know. I'm gonna go for the sniper shot now. Yeah, it wasn't enough damage anyway, I guess. So let's see what my opponent does here. They're probably going to save their Plague Doctor turn for a really long time and instead just like Reign of Sorrows first, blah 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 uh, Yeah, just save the Plague Doctor turn while there's regen on her. Ah, it's really, really quite a fun match. I mean, I guess Rejuvenating Vapors, I just have to deal with it, right? They're going for the uh, Antiquarian turn first, they're going to go for the Fast Ring Vapors. Interesting, they're not making use of that on the on the flash runs. A bit surprising, honestly. I guess I could just... Stun the Plague Doctor. Ah, she has decent stun resistances now. I could stun the flash one just to stop him. And then go for a rake or something like that. I mean, they do have to go first here. So yeah, let's stun the flash one, see how that goes. Oh, as expected. I mean, set 55, you're, sometimes you're gonna get it, sometimes you're not gonna get it. It is unfortunate, but such is the way of the Butcher Circus, and it's really just a huge waste. It's like me passing a turn because there's regen on him, so yeah, it's just terrible. Absolutely terrible, but, uh, you know, that's such is the way of playing against regen and failing stuns. Oh, they have to click their Jester soon. I guess I could try for another stun, just to make it so they don't have their, their Noxious Blast. That'd be helpful, right? Yeah, let's try for another stun here. Okay, we do get it, that's that's good. And we're gonna be able to get a kill here, for sure, but it's gonna be a little late. I might go for the Caltrips kill, just to counter this regen a little bit, you know? 
Yeah, I might go for the caltrip skill here, as, as weird as it looks, because it does look a little weird, but I think I'm still gonna do it. Hmm. I mean, it's an 80, you have to take risks if you wanna win, right? Hmm, yeah, yeah. There's no Tears of the Lost there either, I think this is the play. There we go, we get a crit on it as well, which, I mean, I guess it could help. Uh, nice, I am still alive here. We do still have stun and push and pull, so we really want to prevent the finale from coming through. We also want to prevent the finisher on the anti-coin from, uh, from working. But yeah, really, the most important thing we have to do right now is just make sure that the Jester doesn't get finale off. If he doesn't get finale off, we're a very happy Shepherd doggy, and that is how it should be. He should be a very happy Shepherd doggy here. <laughs> so another double bleed resistance, you know, this is DOT flash onto the nutshell. I'm gonna go for the stun and... Okay, I do get it this time, wonderful. That is, that is very helpful actually. That means that I could do a bit of a turnaround. I could like, slam, shoot, push. I mean, slam, shoot, and kill. Yeah, I could do that, but I, it's a 50-50 of getting the push. And if I do that, the Jester might just, you know, whoop, go finale on me and then I'm gone. Oh, my voice is starting to get a bit, a bit tricky. He only has one buff though. And he goes for his move as well. So I might actually be able to uh, do a little bit of a, of a whoopty scoop here. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it now. I'm calling it the whoopty scoop. And I'm gonna go for the, I'm gonna go for the push. Do I get it? Yes, I do. Yes, I do get it. That's massive. That means I'm going to be able to kill the flash one here really early, and uh, they might just—they're they, probably going to get a 50/50 on me, and then still, eh, and then get the kill on my arbalest. Uh, but it, it's either or. They're not going to get both of them, so I should be fine here. Unless, no, no, I should be fine here. Yeah, I'm going to go for the shot into the into the whatnot. So I bet they're probably regretting going for the harvest there instead of going for the eternity. Anti anti but at the same time you want to keep your anti current turn so I don't just full shoot you and stun you. You know, that's also really quite bad. They get a crit, but is it enough? E no, it's not. It's not enough. So yeah, now it's just going to be shot into finish him and... Let's hope we don't witness the 95. <laughs> that, would, uh, that would guarantee me a loss, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that would pretty sure guarantee me a loss if I if I get an if I fail the 95 here, but thankfully it doesn't happen. You know, it's just the funny thing of the Witcher Circus having that 95 there. Yeah, it's just uh, just just how it is, right? It's just how it is on our 13th match, the happy 13th. So he's probably gonna no, we're gonna go for the finale on the Arbalest. Yeah, finale on the Arbalest. She's a gunner. And now I guess I'm just going to stun the the anti current after that. I mean, there's really no point healing here. So it's just going to be a stun into something, that's for sure. The thing is, once these characters go to position 1 and 2, like, I'll be fine. When did you die? It was round 3, right? No, round 2, round 3. Round 2, round 3, okay, let's remember that. Round 2, round 3. So she regen crits for a bit more HP, but, I mean, she's still doing terribly. And now I can do something here. I'd probably go for a pull into a stun, right? Because she's... Yeah, she has 30 dodge, so maybe this isn't the wisest move. Maybe healing here would be better. Yeah, I'm actually gonna heal here because I'm not even dropping to this door. I could use the heal on the Crusader. This is just too risky. 70 and an 80, and, uh, you know, if it fails, I just get death load. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I'm just gonna do this. Sure, they're gonna take cover now, and, uh, you know, I'm just gonna have to wait around for a bit. Uh, but it's it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I'm gonna get rid of these corpses are gonna go away eventually And once they do go away, it's gonna be really cool for me. That was round four. So round two round three. We remember we remember we remember the round two round three So the anti is thinking real hard on what she wants to do, but she's gonna end up going for the take cover What could she be scared of? Hmm <laughs> I guess I could pull the Jester here, pull him into a Harvest, yes, with the wisest Shepherd doggy move. I think it's fine though, because yeah, then I just abuse him with my Abomination. Yeah, let's do that, let's do that, I think that's the move. Pull him, he's still gonna be dazed, I'm still gonna, be, gonna have to finish some shenanigans, and I mean, I'm probably gonna lose one of my characters because of this, but um, then I'm probably still gonna, I mean, I'm very likely gonna be able to win the 2v1, especially with two stunning characters, it's just really difficult for my opponent to win this. Unfortunately for me, kind of, because I don't want to stop playing, but I have to keep going. I have to keep going. It never ends. It never ends. The end is never the end is never the end. I'm also not going to do this in like two takes. You know, like, uh, I'm going to play now and I'm going to get like two wins today and then two wins the other day. Like, nah, that's just, that's cheating. That's cheating to me. That's cheating. That wouldn't be funny. 
So how many damage was I have? Oh, two. Rage. Yeah, see, that's what I wanted to do when I had those 81% hit chances against my strength. That's what I wanted to do. Not the freaking double 81% miss. Yeah, he has 15 dodge as well. He wasn't even a dodgy gesture anymore. Just insane. Absolutely insane. So they're gonna go for the death blows here, but I mean, they, right, they can't because I'm not even at that star and I'm just gonna be a finish him. No more jester. And then I'm just going to heal again. Then I'm gonna have the two characters. The corpses are gonna be going away. They try to go for the protect me just to save themselves through the dodge. But it's very unlikely to work. Very, very unlikely. I mean, what's the chance? <laughs> 4%. Sadly, it doesn't work. And now this should be a surrender. Oh, with the crit too, so I can go for the stun. Yeah. It's gonna be a surrender from stomach foot. And there we go. And it's win number 13 for the Shepherd Doggy. Let's go straight into match number 14. And here we are, straight into match number 14. And it looks like it's going to be JTD128 playing with um, a team. Yes, definitely a team. And it's gonna have Blade Doctor and Occultist uh, with Stygian Embracer. We're gonna focus them down. We're gonna focus this Occultist down. We also have to focus the Doggy down. We have to focus everyone down. But wow, it's gonna be this thing. Ah, it's gonna be this thing. Yeah, that's really gonna stress me out, but am I extremely worried about it? So I'm a little worried, but maybe not extremely. I'm gonna go for the stun here on the doggy first, then I'm gonna go for the stun on the occultist, and then I'm just going to mark, shoot, do all the funny little shenanigans that we know and love with this team. Have I gone over all the, all the trinkets, actually? I didn't go over the bounty on the trinkets, so yeah, we just have finisher and grappling mitts. I mean, I'm, I'm so late into it that, you know, it, it would be a little too late to be... Ah, introducing trinkets, you, you've seen them in action like 50 times already. Whoa, that's a lot of stress. To be expected though, to be expected. And yeah, with the minus accuracy, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to mark and shoot. I think that's gonna be my move here. Mark and shoot, and then I don't get to go first, but right, it should be fine. Because two stuns and, and all that, he can't heal himself. Two dodges, wow, that's, that's totally fair. I guess I do have the round one dodge, so it does it does help me out a little bit. Aha! No, don't do it. I go for go for the mark. <laughs> the round one caltrips every time. It's every day, bro. But no, not this time. Not while I have minus twenty percent damage and all that. I, I think this is better. So yeah, I'll just do this and uh, boom. A cult is down to zero. Minus death or resistance. Okay, with the minus death or resistance, I will caltrips that. Yeah, especially with the minus accuracy on me. Yeah, I'm gonna caltrips that for sure, dude. For sure, I'm gonna counter up sand. Unless she heals, which would be really bad because I just hit again and they're wasting their turn of the plus stress dealt. But no, they're gonna go the sorting blast. And do they get it? Yes, they get the daze, but they don't get the move. But that's a lot of stress, and I'm afflicted already round two. Fearful as well. Okay, she's pretty much useless from for the rest of the match, but uh, she's probably probably done her worth already. Clueless Shepherd Doggy, as I as I failed uh, the 80% death blow. It's funny, because I got the debuff against the Occultist, which is super lucky, because, I mean, look at this, he has 70% debuff resistance, but I don't get the death blow. Oh, I wish I was not dazed. I so wish I was not dazed, but, yeah, unfortunate. I have a dazed and a stunned character. I guess I'm gonna go for another stun here on the Doggy. Look at his HP, though, he's getting pummeled. Yeah, this is why you can't put a doggy like this in position, too. It's just, he just gets pummeled by the Crusader. And there's two stuns and, like, a couch. So, look at this. He's already pretty much a one-shot for anything. So, they're gonna go for the Bellow. Further reduce my, my everything, I guess. And, like, I'm still just going to shoot here and probably get the kill, right? Yeah, yeah, like, 99% chance to get the kill. Unless Fearful passes or something, but yeah, 87 and 100, there's a death blow. Now I'm just going to shoot the doggy, start next round, most likely. It's probably gonna do enough damage. Ah, probably not, actually. Not with minus 45%. Yeah, it's not gonna do enough. There's also gonna be this before that, so ah, I'm probably not gonna do it. I'm probably, probably not gonna do it in that case. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Abomination instead, my damage support. Paranoid Bound Hunter. Uh, but <laughs> you are all sneaks. They're all sneaks, he says. I think I have to rage here to do enough damage. Rake is doing six to ten, which isn't enough. Um, what's the hit chance though? Uh, this pushes, which I don't want. Eighty-one. Huh? I mean, I only have to roll for eight. But yeah, this is uh, the rage is a better chance. Yeah, I only have to roll for eight, but it's just like a forty percent chance that I don't do enough damage. 
I only have to roll for eight because he's bleeding down with the with the countress. But yeah, I'd rather take uh, take that than than not and go for the rake. I mean, sure, I do some damage to the mana arms, but I kind of don't need that right now. They go for the guard here, so I'm just gonna go stun. You know, as you do, just stun, get rid of the guard. Hopefully, and yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> a lot of turns gone from my opponent. And the doggy will be gone, the Plague Doctor is next, and yeah, I just uh, yada yada, and probably another win, but let's skip along to the end. Well, that didn't take too long, we get the 14th win, and let's go straight into a match number 15. Well, well, well. Alright, come on, it's like the fifth time you're doing the well, well, well intro ship. Okay, I'm going into a match number 15, and now it's gonna be Halo Comp versus WD, and Halo Comp gets to go first again. But they don't have the grappling mitts on the bounty hunter, they have a damage bounty hunter with collect bounty and all that. They still go for the pull despite not having the grappling mitts, and they still get it despite not having the grappling mitts. <sighs> Alright. That's big. That's big. That is a big Holy Land script. That's massive. Okay, that's definitely a huge assistance towards... Um, uh, towards the the win here. They're gonna go for the stunning bone my abomination. I'm going to double flare that Yeah, I'm going to flare that for sure I'm gonna get rid of the mark and get rid of the stun like there's no world where you don't just do this and After that, it's probably going to be rage into Something rage into something. That's for sure. They're gonna go battle ballads. So I think I could Actually pull here believe it or not. Yeah, let's go for the pull myself so let's get a little pull going on the Sarbalus. She could do just a pull and knock me around. That would be unfortunate, but I think I can I think I can live through it. Please not a double push though. Okay. I'll I, I can live through it, as I said. I'm gonna go for a push onto this bounty hunter and we do enough damage to put him down to zero, which is exactly what I wanted. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Of course a double push had to happen, but I mean, I, I guess it's fine. It's fine, Shep. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So are they going to heal with the Crusader? No, they're going to stun my Arbalest. Wow, full on with the aggression. That is whack. That is actually whack. In that case, I go for the 50. Boom! No more Bounty Hunter for you. The Crusader is bleeding, and this is how the match should typically go between WD and Halo. WD just wins. WD always wins. And that is going to be a very quick surrender by my opponent. And that is going to be 15-0 for the Shepherd Doggy. So let's go straight into match number 16. Well, well, well. That is a very familiar series of numbers that I see right there. And this series of numbers is playing the oppressive vestal. So I'm once again playing into another oppressive vest. Although this one is um, very well equipped. It has a sacred blade. It has quite a standard, which is odd, but... Um, we'll see how we deal with it. I think that first things first... Uh, oh, they do have the red here on Okay, I agree with that. I'm gonna... <laughs> three damage! Three damage! Okay, I'm gonna go for the, the stun on the Crusader. I think it's overall gonna be helpful, so let's just go ahead and do that. And we'll see what we wanna do after that. Maybe a mark somewhere, maybe still going for a pull. Uh, we'll see. Just know that Stunning the Crusader is pretty much always a good move, so... They're gonna go for the Puncture. Do they get to 70 is the question. They do. They do get to 70. Well, that's unfortunate, but uh, I guess I can live with it. I could Holy Lance in the Crusader. Mm. They do have the heal there. They're going to... They're going to stun me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's Holy Lance Crusader. I get a mineral, but at least it hits, right? I, I can't complain. At least it hits. If they stun my Arbalus now, I will just... Yeah, I will just uh, Caltrips here. I think this is the move. Yeah, the, the Arbalus is stunned, which is unfortunate, but I mean, what can I do about it? And I'm just going to Caltrips. Hopefully Bleed the Crusader, come on. There we go, Bleed the Crusader, that's very good. That is a very, very helpful, and I'm slowly gonna start taking away at this team. Of course, it's not a massive win condition, because, I mean, they still have Comfort, they have Heal, they have Heal. It's, it's not great, but it's still helpful, it's still gonna help. Okay, it could be worse, I guess. It could be worse than that. And... Um, weird spot. Weird spot to be in for me. I think we go for a pull on the Vestal here. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a pull on the Vestal turn, so let's go for a pull on her. Get a very nice crit for 4, that could make a difference. And now I can stun her, I can shoot her, I can do a lot of mean things to her. 
And I think the craziest move they could go for right now is go for a puncture on my Arbalest, because if they fail it, they lose the match on the spot pretty much. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they lose the match on the spot if they fail it, so. Yep. Yep. That happens. That happens. That happens. That happens. You go for the 70 and um, you get really messed up. <laughs> you get really messed up. Oh, they're gonna go for the higher man turn. They're gonna go for the duelist advance. They're all inning. They're going all in on me. I'm going to go for the stun here. Boom! No more Vestal! Massive! Just massive! Absolutely massive manacles over there. And a surrender! And a quick 16th win for the Shepherd Doggy because WD always wins. And uh, let's go straight to match number 17 then. And it's gonna be a rematch. Of course. Of course. Is it gonna be the same team? Is it gonna be the same team? Yes, it is. I wonder who gets to go first now. That it, that does make a huge impact. Who goes first here? They still have the same setup, right? Yeah, exact same setup. Uh, yeah, they did have a finisher there. Right, they did have a finisher. So they have the net. They get to go first this time around. That could be massive for them. That could be absolutely massive. I wonder what they go for. Come on, go for the stunning blow and whiff it. Yeah, whiff it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate is what I say. Very unfortunate for me. But you know what can I do? It's the butcher circus. I don't click. I don't click it. Um, I don't click it. I'm gonna go for the stun myself on the crusader. So no more stuns for you. I could have gone for a stun like on the Harman there as well. That was a possibility. But I feel like getting rid of the crusader turn is a bit more important here. I also could have gone for the stun on the shield bigger if I were feeling like extremely crazy. But yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling that crazy right now. So we just stun the Crusader, and now they can't go for another stun because then I just have the Flare Valley, right? If they go for a Puncture here, I'm actually just gonna move back twice. Yeah, I mean, 4 damage, and I just move back twice, and you have a chance of missing it. Like, I mean, you have a chance of failing it, like, sure, I'll take it. I'll just move back. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind, I'll just wait a bit here. I'm, I'm fine with this. This is okay. They can stun me now, and uh, it won't be, you know, I, won't, I can't Flare it anymore, which is unfortunate. I'm just gonna have to eat both the stuns. Which is definitely unfortunate, uh, having to eat this, this many stuns, but um, I mean, I guess it is how the Butcher Circus works. It do be how the Butcher Circus works. They still have one character stunned for round 2, and I don't want to have any characters stunned for round 2 at the very least, so it, it could be worse for me. It could be worse for sure. I wonder if they Vendetta, or if they Duelist Advance first. Probably Vendetta first, right? I'd imagine, especially when I have the extra dodge. They haven't, uh, they haven't missed anything, by the way, but yeah. No, they still do us advance. Wow, even with the extra dodge and everything. Crazy. Crazy that they do that. Absolutely crazy. They still need to go first here. So I'm still waiting. Still waiting and still biding my time, seeing what my opponent wants to do. They're going to puncture me again. It's gonna whiff one day. It's gonna miss one day. It's not gonna work one day. I could just move back again. Ah, it's not ideal. It's not ideal, but I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. Okay, they're going to pass there. Uh, at this point, we go for the pull. I think this is what we do now. We go for the pull on the vessel. I'm sure they can drop a do an Aldra Duelist advance, but they don't really want to, because then they're not buffing up with Vendetta. And that's good for me if they don't really want to stun me. But they could, if they do that, I'll also just drop a Manacles on the vessel, which is pretty nice for me. And uh, the Crusader will probably just... I don't know, like, try to stun the shield breaker and miss. <laughs> That's probably what he's going to do here. But no, they're going to be aggressive with the vessel. They're going to... What are they going to do? They're going to stun my abomination. Interesting move, actually. Interesting move. In that case, I'll just get a free stun on that... On that vessel, if you don't mind. And the damaging stun as well. I don't get to go first, which is unfortunate, but... You know, I'll just take this for now. They haven't used a Vendetta buff, so I'm not... Ooh, they're, they're gonna go ahead and... Oh, no Vendetta, and they still crit. Ah, no Vendetta, and still crit. Yeah, that's starting to hurt now. That's definitely starting to hurt. They're just going to click there. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm starting to lose! I'm starting to lose this match. I'm feeling it. The loss is coming. Um, I have to be a bit greedy here. I have to, I have to be a bit greedy here. I have to go for a Sound of Shield Breaker, just give myself a little bit of time. I, I can't accept any more pulls or any more anything of the likes. I have to give myself a bit of time here to use my other characters. 
I'm gonna do that. Crusader is just gonna be here to heal, and the uh, Arbals is gonna be here to try and shoot and make something happen. Sadly, we never go first, but I mean, Seltzer's the way of the water, so. Whoa! That's massive. That's massive. That could make the difference. Shep, why does everything make the difference? Yeah, it, it does. It does make the difference, trust me. Okay. Does make the difference. Believe in me. Believe in me. Um, I could mark the Crusader. You know what? I'm going to mark the Crusader and shoot him. This feels like a really good opportunity to do so. It's just because if I go for another pull, it's the mark isn't going to last that long. You know, it's just it's not going to be ideal. There's just going to be another duelist advance. I'm still at this store. It's not great. But if I do this, it might be a bit better. They're probably just going to pass their turn now. So I can't uh, go for my heal just yet, and, and uh, you know, have the extra damage from the Stabilizing Tiller. No, they're gonna go aggressive immediately, that's a misplay. You're gonna give me extra damage with my Stabilizing Tiller. Well, 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 I'll take it then. I'm just going to drop the heal here. That, that crit 12 could make a difference, actually. That crit 12 could make a difference. Yeah, it could make a huge difference now against Puncture. That's a lot more than a 4. Um, and I'm just going to drop the Sniper Shot here, which is a crit as well. Man, man, that's crazy. My man, I, I have been lucky. I have been lucky. Just that Holy Land swiffing. Again, this character has 10 dodge. He shouldn't. He shouldn't have 10 dodge, but you know, still just the way of the Witcher Circus. They're gonna go for the heal here, most likely. Yes, they are gonna go for the heal. Uh, they heal for 6 on themselves, right? Meaning that I probably can't manacle that down to 0, which is unfortunate, but yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. I have to rage it. I have to rage it. Rage against uh, the Crusader. <laughs> That's what I have to do. 91, but thankfully it works. And if they go for the big heal here, I can still shoot and then likely get to death. And if I get to death, look here, it's probably GG. Because I don't see them getting a kill just yet. Yeah, I don't see them getting a kill just yet. It's a really difficult spot for them to be in. Right now they have to go for a puncture and just hope that... Um, Nah, I just hope that the computer doesn't get the death blow. Oh, it's it's tricky for them. Yeah, it's really tricky for them. I ran out of water again! Oh, I'm gonna have to grab more water. I mean, this, this video has been going on for a while. <laughs> it, is, it is to be expected. It is to be expected. They're gonna go for the big heal. Yeah, they are. I still have the crit, though. Like, there's no way I don't do enough damage here. Yeah, there's no way I don't do enough damage. 21 to 37. I get another crit as well. That's massive. And now I still have a healer and I, I have a character to, to get the kill here. But if I don't get it, they get to go first. And that could, uh, that could make things tricky for me. They're gonna go for the puncture on the Arbalist. And yeah, they do get it, fortunately for them. And I think right now they want to go for the Wicked Slice. So... I think I'm actually gonna go for the Holy Lance first. The 25, and if I don't get it after that, I'll go for the um, I'll go for the pull, and hope that I get the 65. If I don't get the 25 and the 65, it's really unfortunate. Yeah, it's just really unfortunate if it doesn't happen. As yeah, it's it, it's gonna be really rough because that's pretty much two passes if I don't get the kill here. Yeah, that's really unfortunate, man. A 25 and a 65. That sucks. Sucks to be me. I I could have moved back, right? I could have moved back with the Crusader instead of Holy Lancing. Yeah, I could have done that. Hmm. Probably would have won if I had done that. But I can still win. You're fine, ship. You can still win. I can go for this, and I still have to heal with the Arbus. Yeah, I could have moved back and I'd gone for the finish him. I think, right? I think I could have done that. Uh, because I went Holy Lance and then I was in position 3. I went, yeah, I could have moved back and gone for a finish him. Oh man, that's. Hmm? What? Do they, do they sense the, the defeat? Do they sense the defeat? Is that what happened there? I'm not entirely sure. Like, let's analyze it for a second. I was gonna go for a rage. After which they would go for a puncture. And I mean, I was I was most likely gonna get the kill there, but they would have gotten a lot of pressure on my arbals. I mean, I was still very likely to win that though. Yeah, even with that misplay, I was still very likely to win that because with the stun and all that, it just becomes really difficult for them uh, for to win. So I I will count that as the seventeenth win. And let's go straight into match number eighteen. <laughs>
All right, then here we go, straight into a match number 18. So, it seems to be that... Whoa, Purgation Talisman. Okay, this looks to be... I'm playing against Johnny. This looks to be kind of like uh, an oppressive vessel, but oppressive plague doctor. And I get to go first. Uh, I guess I stun the Vestal, right? Oh, I stun the Crusader. Ah, let's stun the Crusader. He's, he's an annoying champ. Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of his action for a bit. Once again, doing three damage with my manacles. It's, it's just an absolute joke, but yeah, yeah, I guess I guess it'll have to do. It's just what happens when you bring these two. If you bring Spiked Chain and Brass Knuckles, like you're gonna hurt way more with your manacles, but this is just something I have to accept. Wow, okay, they go for the Blinding Gas. Interesting move. I I still have a guaranteed hit chance, don't I? <laughs> This is the one I lose. 88, huh? Uh huh. 88. Okay. Okay. Here comes the flare. I mean, here comes the stun. Is it gonna be a flare? No, it isn't, because I don't have good hit chances on my opponent. I'm just gonna do this and shoot. Wow. Okay. 88. Maybe. Maybe I should have dropped the caltrips? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's Battlefield Medicine. You have to pull this. You have to pull this for sure. They're gonna Vendetta me because I have the most amount of dodge on the Bounty Hunter. And now I'm just going to, to shoot her. 15. Yeah, that's not a very good roll. I mean, at least it's a hit, right? So, I can't complain. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely not going uh, according to plan. I'm gonna go for the pull now before any more shenanigans happen. I could have gone for the stun first on the Vestal, but I feel like doing this is just gonna be better right now, even though she's you know she's very annoying to deal with. They're gonna go for what well, what's it gonna be? They have heal, 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 so this is a really annoying team to deal with. But they're gonna go for the duelist advance. Wow, 14, the max roll. I mean maybe with Vendetta it's not the max roll. I can shoot. I can shoot. Let's go for it. Okay, nice, nice hit. 90 accuracy, yeah, it's a minus 20 accuracy debuff, it's not minus 15. And blinding ass is pretty brutal. Smoke screen is more brutal though, it's minus 20 accuracy, minus 20 crit. Ah, oh, they heal for 9 because she has hazard mask, right? Oh, oh that's so annoying actually. <laughs> so annoying, I have to go for stun here and it doesn't do enough. Hmm, I guess I have to pull again or something. At least they're not really hurting me that bad. They're just doing a bit of stress to my side, which is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna keep going for stuns here. I keep min-rolling. I keep min-rolling. That can't happen. I can't win just with minerals. It's not gonna work, Shep. It is not gonna work. Okay, she's probably gonna go for... Wow, this... no, I think that's a misplay, though. Yeah, I think that's a misplay, because now I just hit her, and yeah, that's just a misplay. That's just a wasted turn. I'm gonna do this, and they're down to zero. Johnny whiffs his uh, his move. This is John Plague Doctor here, <laughs> trying to trying to take my 18th win away from me. Right, the 18th win goes for the self heal. I guess I can just manacles that, and uh, there we go. No more Plague Doctor turn. I could have gone for something else, but I mean, yeah, she, the vessel's still going to heal here, so it's going to be annoying. But I still think this was uh, this was the best move at the moment. The Crusader's probably just gonna go for like a preemptive deal or something like that. Yeah, there's gonna be a, yeah, there's a Divine Grace. I think there's gonna be a finish from turn actually. 12 to 23. Oh, that's a massive hit. I mean, she's dead. I mean, she's dead start of, um, start of next round, which is massive for me because I still have my healers. I still have my healers up and running. I'm just gonna do some preemptive healing here. I could have gone for a Stunder on the Crusader, but honestly, I don't need it to win. I just need to survive this Duelist Advance. I need to make sure that even if it crits, it doesn't do enough damage. I'm gonna go for Duelist Advance instead on the on the Abomination, and now that I have this Death Blow, this should be pretty much a GG. I don't think my opponent can win this anymore. I mean, I still have two Stunners, I still have two Healers. Yeah, I just have the WD stuff going for me. And it is a Surrender, so a very fast 18th match going for me as well. And I'm up to 18 Ws with the WD, so let's uh, hope we get to 20, right? Well, 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 can you believe it, man? It's none other than Richtif and the Zombie Killer. And he is here to take my win away from me with his finisher flash. He's playing his team, he's playing the Zombie Killer comp. Yeah, this this is his own team. I, I've never spoken to this person, by the way. I, I don't think this person even speaks. They just get on the circus and kill some zombies, which are pretty much anyone that stands in his way. And let's see how he takes this one. Let's see how he wants to play against us. It should be a pretty fun one. 
this team has a lot of things going for it. It's very odd the way it's played because it has finisher, finisher in the front line and like no, 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 no. It's a horrible start, but okay, I can I can live with it. I can live with it. Calm down. I think he's gonna fo focus my abomination down. He's he's seen the zombie. He's seen the zombie. He's going to focus him down with stun punish and dirk stab. And it's just going to be a terrible time for me. At least I think that's what's happening here. I could go for a pull on the Arbalist. Oh, that, that actually hurts so much because now if I can't really shoot him that well. That's so annoying though. That is so annoying. I'm just going to stun the Crusader. I also can't, can't hurt him either <laughs> because of the crit. Can you imagine going for the 80? Not only getting it, you get rewarded with a crit. Yeah. Yeah, such as Doyle of the Witcher Circus. Um, they even have Battle Battle, but they're not using it, you know? Because, I mean, why would you? Come on. Okay, at least there's no bleeds. At least there's no bleeds. I do have something going for me. If I mark here, they just flare and they're fine. I could Caltrip to do a bit of damage to the, to the Jester. That might be the move here. I think, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to Caltrip. Uh, because I can't really mark anyone right now because of the, the, the stun on the Crusader. Because then she just flares. And if I go for the pull and I don't get it, it's just a flare, like, massive value. And even if I get it, it's still massive value for the flare, so I'm just gonna do this instead. And who are they gonna shoot? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be the Bounty Hunter. Oh, massive! Yeah, that's what you get for not running Battle Loud. Once again, he has too much dodge. Once again, he just has too much dodge. I love it, though. I love the amount of dodge that he has. And I think here, there's a few moves I can go for. I think the move, though, is going to be to pass and shoot. I think that's going to be the move. Probably shoot the Jester, even, just to do a lot of damage to him. He's probably going to Dirk Stab my Abomination. Or is it going to be the Bounty Hunter? No, Harvest! Okay, he's playing the long game. He gets one of the hits with the Harvest, gets the crit, but no bleed, which is massive for me. And now I get to just Sniper Shot. I'm going to go for the 82, and I do land it with a very nice hit for 22 as well. That's, that's absolutely huge here. That is absolutely huge, because now he's dropping in two rounds. That's very helpful. The Flash Rod goes for his turn. Does he get the bleeds? He gets both hits. He does get both bleeds now as well. Okay, that's unfortunate for me, but I mean, nothing I can do about it. If I go for the stun here, she can't flare. I mean, she can, but she shouldn't, <laughs> because I just get a kill. And I think I win after it. Hmm. But I don't have to do that. But I want to. That's the thing. I want to do it. Yeah, because if she flares now to get rid of both of the stuns, I just get the kill with the finish him, and the Jester is a goner. And if that happens, if the Jester is a goner, you no longer have the, the finale, and you just have these two bozos just trying to win, but these two bozos are countering them with push and stun. And then I have these two bozos here to counter your Arbalist. And I think I win after that, so they're put in a really difficult spot here. Yeah, they have the Battlefield Bandage. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? And I can go for the triple stun here. Yeah, look at this. I'm gonna go for the triple stun right now. Stun on the flagellant as well. Just stun everything. Stun everyone. And the Arbalist just can't do anything, she can't flare. Uh, the reason I don't go for Sniper Shot right there is because it's a 70, I can't take a risk that big. I can't just put my life on a 70 and the surrender! He realizes that he can't win anymore, I've just gotten way too many advantages. And that's 19 wins! 19 wins for the WD! You know, if you had, if you had any doubts that this is the best team in the Witcher Circus, like, come on, come on. You see how easy these wins are with this crazy-ass team. It's brutal, it's brutal what it does. So let's go straight into a match number 20. Would you look at that? He's coming in again. He knew he had uh, he had two opportunities to take me down before I get to the magical 20. And yeah, there he goes again. He got to go first and he got really lucky with the initial stunning blow, but this time I get to go first. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. I could go for the immediate pull on the Arbals or I could go for the stun on the Crusader. I think the stun on the Crusader is a wiser move. Let's just go for it. It's been working out really well for me today, so I'm gonna keep going for the stun on this Crusader. Just make sure that he doesn't get the uh, the stunning blow on me. It's also a con confirmed chance of hitting as well, which is really nice, even though you are you are going first. They're gonna go for the immediate Reign of Sorrow. Still no Battle Battle. The Underpoint Battle Battle ending now. Oh, no bleeds either. That's so big for me. I could go for the finish him here, but it's, it's honestly a bit too greedy. 
Yeah, it's a bit too greedy for my taste, so I'm not gonna do it. Guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Caltrips again! Oh, yes, I do, I Caltrips again. Why, ship? Why do you do this? Why do you do such a silly thing? I can't mark. I can't mark, I can't stun, I don't want to shoot. Uh, they just they just didn't click the guard, the marked, they didn't click the arbalus, I just have to do this. Oh, they're gonna, oh, okay, okay, they're gonna go full on the aggression. They're gonna go full on with the aggression. This, uh, this makes things tricky for me. A little bit tricky for me. How do I stop this jester, is the question. How do I stop this jester? I have to shoot him. Maybe I just heal here. Mm-hmm. Ah, this this doesn't look good, but I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal the, the bounty hunter a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't look good, I know. It, it looks pretty bad, because, I mean, she can just shoot. But I still think I have to go for this. Yeah, this actually feels a hell of a lot worse now. Ah, please don't hit too much. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's this is this is it. This is it. This is it. 45. Oh, and the dodge. Oh, this is it, isn't it? I get to go first, though. I get to go first. But here's the thing. They have, a, they have other finishers. They don't need the Jester to finish me. They have other finishers. Oh, but I am so screwed. Okay. I'm gonna go for the... I'm gonna go for the, the slam here. This has to be the way. This has to be the way. Oh. And another dodge! And another dodge! It happens again! I had to go for pull on the arbles, not this, not caltrips. I misplayed with the caltrips. I should not have done it. I should not have done it. I survived a 50. I mean, it's not enough because I missed I missed the slam. I can't save myself here. If I heal myself, they just finale and I still lose because I, I can't follow it up. I can't I can't win this 3v4 with no pressure. Maybe I get pressure somewhere? No, there's no pressure, there's no pressure. There, I have no mark, I have no nothing. Maybe if I mark the Crusader and shoot him. Maybe then I can do something. Yeah, that's the only way. That is the only way for me to win. I have to mark the Crusader, shoot him, take him out, and uh, still try and win after that, like a 3v3 situation. It's, it's the only thing I can do. I can't heal anymore because they just go for the finale to go for all the shenanigans. They're going to Holy Lance me. It's probably going to be the death blow here. There it is. There's the death blow that we were expecting, but now here comes the great sniper shot that I really need. <laughs> oh, 21, that's 9 plus 10. Oh, no, 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 you gotta be kidding me. I gotta get 20 wins, I gotta get 20 wins, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I messed up for a second and I regret it so hard. Okay, they do 15, could have been worse. They have so much damage on the Star Boss, by the way, because of the Piercing Coral and the Hunter Charm. Like, oh my god, she hurts, man. She hurts so much. I'm gonna go for the stun here on the Crusader. They're probably going to Dirk Stab me here or something. The thing is, Jester won't be too impactful, at least for a little bit. And I can still kill this Crusader. I, the problem is that I don't have a finisher now. The only finisher I have... Oh, that sucks, though. That's a lot of damage. That's way more than it should have been. Yeah. My finisher is the Arbalist. She's my finisher, but... Oh, he's out of... Mm. I have to kill him start of next round. But I don't know if I have that much time. That's the problem. I don't know if I have that much time here. Okay. We go for the stun on the flash one, just so he doesn't hit me. Yeah, they're still gonna get the finale on me. This is still gonna be like a 2v4 against the Flagellant, and I won't be able to win. A 2v3, I mean. Oh, they're going for the Jester turn immediately, huh? They won't have enough for a finale. Nah, they're, they're crazy if they do it. They have like 10 to 20 or 10 to 19. Yeah, they're gonna go for the Harvest. They, they're trigger happy with those numbers, I can tell. I can tell that already, just by looking at them. I'm gonna go for the... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Rage now. They can't just go for a Flare because I have to, they have to heal, right? Yeah, that's why they can't do it. So I'm gonna go for the Rage. Oh, maybe they could have Flared there for a second before going for the Harvest. Maybe they got a bit... Maybe they got a bit uh, too happy with that. I don't know. They're going to Flare here, actually. Oh, that's gonna get rid of... Oh, that's gonna get rid of the Mark and everything. Come on, I need a 25. Oh. It's okay, I can still win. Question mark. Oh, I needed that 25 so bad. Now it's gonna be a heal and oh no, it's gonna be heal into finale. And to... Oh, it's not gonna work for me. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose this one. <laughs> no. 
Oh, this is how it ends. This is how it ends for the Shepherd Doggy. At Richter van his hands. I mean, I feel like a zombie right now, honestly, with all the matches I've played. This was just one sitting. One sitting. Yeah, he goes for the heal. Oh, crit 10. Okay. It's risky, but I have to go for it. The reason I had to go for that is because I still need my Abomination to hit the Crusader. And um, not getting that stun pretty much means GG now. Pretty much for sure. Honestly, it was GG the moment I dropped the Caltrips. Why did I drop the Caltrips? You idiot! You idiot! Ha! I didn't have to drop Caltrips there. That wasn't the move, Chef. That was not the move. Okay. Can I still win this? Yeah, it's not easy, it's not easy, but I can still get a death on the Crusader, that's for sure. The problem is that I still have so many characters to deal with, that's the only problem here. I just, I just wasted too many turns trying to stop that Jester and they're just failing completely, you know? Unfortunate, but it's not just with the Butcher Circus, I just whiffed a bit too much. He's gonna go for the... The heal or the flare? The heal, he's gonna go for the heal. Doesn't doesn't heal for that much, so I can shoot and put then uh, get the death blow star next round, hopefully. And I mean, if I get this death blow here, it's still gonna be a two v three, and I mean, there's still punish on my abomination. My abomination is just getting just getting abused, and I, I still have to deal with an arbol. So it's a one v one between the arbols. I'm losing the one v one between the abomination and the flash one, and there's still a gesture on top of that. I'm surprised to go for the rain of sorrow. So I don't think that's the wisest move. I think just punishing the abomination here is wiser. But it's not what to go for. It is not what to go for. Maybe if I get a bowler here to to do to do some work, it's still not a death blow actually. Yeah, now it is GG. There's redeems, there's heals, there's so much, and the WD loses. The WD finally loses, and there's an end to the win streak. I actually got one less win than I got with the Halo comp. Can you believe it? One less win. Was it against Richtofen as well? Nah, it wasn't. It was against someone playing WD that time. Yeah, it was against someone playing WD with my Halo comp. So yeah, GG's. I got up to 19. So 19 wins, one loss. I, I think that's a pretty fair score, especially considering the amount of um, the amount of difficult matches we had, like maybe like seven really difficult ones, and we somehow still managed to win most of them. Well, all but one, right? All but one. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.